Welcome to the instructional video on how to use the Settings section of Clean Import. Understanding your settings options will ensure your use of Clean Import meets your expectations. As a refresher, to access the settings options, you first need to have Clean Import open. Confirm you are on the correct record type, and then click the Settings link in the upper left hand side. The first step is to browse to the CSV containing the records you wish to import. Click the Browse for CSV button and locate your file. Once the file is loaded into Clean Import, you need to map the CSV columns to CRM fields. Use the drop down menus to locate your field names. If you do not see your field name listed, you can refresh Clean Import by accessing the Options section and clicking Update CRM Fields. Remember to keep your import list to 50,000 records or less. Next, select the group of CRM records you wish to compare your list to. Your first option is to use a group from right within the CRM. Each CRM has a slightly different process for creating this group, and an instructional video is available for you to review right in the Select the CRM Records to Compare section. The second option is to use an external CSV list of record IDs. You can create either a list or a report within your CRM using any number of complex filters. The only column you need displayed is the account ID, contact ID, or lead ID. Reports and lists can be marked as private. Save and export your group as a CSV, then use the Browse button from within Clean Import Settings to navigate to this. For these two options, please keep your list to 250,000 records or less. Your last option is, do not compare my CSV to any CRM records. This option will not find any duplicates from within your CRM, but may still find duplicates from within the CSV itself. Your next step is to select the Merge rule. The Merge rule sets the master record in a duplicate set. The master will be used to populate the final row of data. Any information it does not have in its displayed fields will be pulled from the other duplicates in the set. There are two basic merge rules. Let me take a moment to explain them. Both merge rules are based on most complete address. The address consists of address 1, address 2, city, state, zip code, and country. When comparing records in a duplicate set, the record that has the most number of these fields populated will be set as the master. You can decide if you want a duplicate from the CRM to be the master, or if you want a duplicate from the CSV to override the CRM duplicate. When you set the master, you are indicating which record ID to retain and which records non-displayed data or non-data will be kept in the record details. Remember, you are able to tweak the data that you choose to display in Clean Import. I will mention more on that later. After you set the merge rule, you will decide on your match settings. The match settings are those fields that you wish to compare when searching for duplicates. Any field in your CSV can be used for matching. When choosing match criteria, the more fields you select, the more narrow the match. Conversely, the fewer fields you select, the broader the match. When you set a series of match criteria for a given run, all match criteria must be met for records to be considered duplicates. This gives you the control you need to target duplicates with the right focus for your specific data. The sliding scale makes it easy to select the intensity of the match for each field. Your choices are exact match, starts with match, and lastly fuzzy match. For all choices, there are advanced settings available. After selecting a field to match on, the link for the advanced settings will appear. Click on this link to open the window. You are first given the chance to select the option to match blank fields to other blank fields. This will not match a field that contains data to a field that is blank. For example, if you are matching on state and there were three records, two with no state listed and the other set to New York, only the two blank state records would be grouped as a match. Leaving the default set to no will allow for a better match in most situations. Next, if you selected an exact match, you are given the opportunity to make the match case sensitive. 
If you selected a starts with match, you will be given the opportunity to define how many characters a field should start with in order to match. The lower limit is three characters. This may come in handy for those of you who tag account names with a location or a rank after the proper name. Your last option is to set words to ignore when matching. You may wish to include ignore words to compensate for commonly used industry terms in account names or custom fields. For example, you may have a number of accounts that are in the format of ABC International, XYZ International, and DEF International. By ignoring the word international, your duplicate results will be more accurate. If you didn't add the word international to your list of ignore words, then those three accounts could be grouped together in a duplicate set. You can select any number of fields to match on. Keep in mind that no one set of match criteria will catch all duplicates. It's a best practice to experiment with combinations of match criteria that catch most of your duplicates. For accounts, this might be account name, city, and country. For contacts and leads, it might be account name, first name, and last name. With a little experimenting, you will find the best match criteria for your specific data set. Next, you will set the displayed fields for your duplicates. Clean import defaults to all the fields in your CSV, but you may wish to display other CRM fields if a CRM record is found to be a duplicate. Just click on a field in the Available Fields box and drag and drop it to the box on the right. Or use the Add and Remove buttons to do the same. You also have the option to reorder the displayed fields by dragging and dropping or using the Move Up and Move Down buttons. Choose those fields that you believe contain the most data, as viewing row after row of blank fields in the merge grid can become confusing. When satisfied, click Apply. The fields you choose to display are also the fields that you can make manual edits to or use to craft the final master record. Non-displayed fields from the final master record will be used as the final field values. Therefore, any critical fields you want to review should be displayed while trying to limit the number of fields to make the review as simple and as fast as possible. The last setting is for concatenation. Concatenation will take all values from a field in a duplicate set and combine them into the field in the final row. This is most helpful for text fields or notes fields. Select the field you wish to concatenate, then select a field value separator and click apply. You now have all your settings. You can save this series of settings for a future run, which adds speed and ease to using Clean Import again. To save your settings, you click on the Save As button at the top of the settings box. To find and load your saved settings during a future run, click on the drop down next to Current Settings and select it from the list. Once you are satisfied with your Clean Import settings, you can go ahead and click Find Duplicates. The review process, once your duplicates are returned, is covered in the Clean Import training video in our classroom found on the Support tab of our website. You can also reference instructions for each of these settings in the Help Files. To access the Help Files, click on the Help link in the upper right-hand corner and expand those sections of interest to you. We hope this information has helped to make your importing fast and seamless. Thank you for watching and enjoy the ease of importing with Clean Import.